Hey guys, it's Wednesday. Checking on these sprouts. Seems like they're really popping off here. Gonna take off the brick. And, uh, you know, the videos that I've seen online, they say that you flip over the, the shade tray and let them grow. And, like, once they push the shade tray up, that's when you give them light. I gave them some water and I kind of felt bad about not giving them light, so. I just gave them light early. Now in the afternoon, they've already started to green up a lot. It's pretty nice. So, uh, yeah. It's about 6.30ish now. So, gonna head out to work. You know, I guess I didn't really do much, play video games and stuff. Uh, I did also upgrade the cargo net with the carabiners from that broken bungee cord that I found. So that's nice. Gave Rainbow some pets before I head out. What a cat. Yeah. Still ladders in these uh, trees over there. Weird. But whatever. And yep. Yeah, took uh, Palmerston down to the good foods. It's been a while since I've had to wait to pick up orders, but... There was a queue going on, so... It's about half an hour until I actually left and uh yeah lots of cars out kind of surprised at how many cars are on this street usually it's not very busy here along this stretch but i guess the c and e is going on and the toronto football club the soccer guys are doing something so maybe it's just a lot of dummies going out and getting that traffic started and uh, yeah, doing a big delivery here. It's nice to have the cart, just wheel it on in. Oh man, my bike gave me some sensor errors as I was doing all of these trips. Still working, but uh, I don't like that it's flashing red light. Doesn't feel good. And again, huge traffic going on here. I've uh, ridden through the tunnel before. And I kind of don't like it when it's uh, one lane like this, you know, it feels like drivers are on my ass, even though I'm going pretty fast. But honestly, just walking through was uh, faster. Like, there was a police van over there, and uh, I passed them just walking. But yeah, kind of worried about my bike, but uh, since it's still sort of working, picked up more orders. I was planning on bringing it into the bike depot during, uh, you know, January and February when I wouldn't be biking around too much. You now we can get like that complete overhaul, which might cost somewhere between three to five hundred dollars. It's another reason, like, kind of wanted to save up and not go to Nova Scotia, even though it seems dope. But. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll have to take it in sooner. Although, when I do my uh, next deliveries, it didn't give me any errors. So, maybe it's fine. Probably not though. Yeah, more bike lane closures for construction on the Martin Goodman Trail. Thankfully it wasn't too big of a closure, just around Young Street. Still annoying. But yeah, did my last drop off and uh, yeah, just headed back to the warehouse. Yeah, I guess I only picked up three uh, trips of deliveries again today. The last one is some boxes and a heavy on demand with like a 24 pack of water bottles. Like, damn, yo. Some heavy shit. But that's how it is sometimes. Huh. I'm off the clock now. It's off after 11. I'm just uh, biking on home. I was wondering what this thing is at the side of the road. The Chef Man. I guess it's like a little mini fridge. That's kind of neat. That'd be funny if it worked. Keep your little, uh, cans of coke next to your xbox while you're gaming 
So yeah, went home and I have something extra to show you guys before I left for my last uh, trip of deliveries. The dispatch guy asked if I ate salmon fish, which I do, so he gave me four packs of these like salmons and a bunch of these uh, sausages, like five of them. I'm like, damn, yo, this all goes bad, like in less than a week kind of thing. So I guess they're just getting rid of it. As well as uh, a couple meal kits. Well, three of them. I made the uh, Greek style grilled shrimp like pretty tasty stuff didn't use a barbecue like they suggested but still tasted good and uh, yeah that mini fridge didn't do anything so I just put it back where I found it also looked at the hat that was next to it I was like oh, maybe I could uh, wear that but now nah, I'm not gonna wear that I can go back to the streets and since I'm out here, might as well enjoy a little night ride. It's probably about, well, 3 a.m. ish. I know, pretty late, right? But it's always kind of nice when it's dark like this and uh, not very busy in the streets. Plus, my bike wasn't doing anything weird, so that was nice. And uh, yeah, saw this weird box. I was like, wouldn't it be funny if the DJ controller was in it? And it was. I'm like, damn, y'all. People just throwing out a DJ controller? Normally I wouldn't pick up this kind of thing because it's probably broken and I don't even know how to use it. But I'm gonna hang out with my brother soon on the weekend and he knows about this kind of thing, so I don't know, let's see if it works. Might as well. I saw another pile of junk. It's the end of the month, so I guess people are moving out and just leaving their junk on the curb. So, I'm looking at some junk here. They got a patio umbrella, a bunch of dishware, a Ouija board that I didn't notice right away. I'm like, what's in here, guys? A little travel bag for, for your traveling? And, uh, I don't know, this seemed like a junk junk bin there. This stuff looked like bathroom stuff in the bottom. Hair dryer probably works. This definitely seems like someone moved out and was like, yeah, fuck all this shit. Oral-B toothbrush still in the box. And this is when I noticed the Ouija board by Hasbro. The Illuminator. I found one of these like a while ago. They're kind of nice. It has a, you know, rechargeable battery. So, you know, since I already have one, I didn't take that one. And uh, I saw a Wacom pen. And I was like, yo, sweet Wacom pen. And then the Wacom tablet was attached to it. I was like, damn, yo, I wonder if this works. It's got a micro USB port, so maybe. As well as this 64 gigabyte SD card. I'm like, damn. You know, originally I just stopped to make a joke about how there are speakers here. I'd be like, yo, speakers to go with the DJ controller. But, found some decent shit there. So, started charging up the Wacom tablet. And once it was charged up, I could connect it through Bluetooth to my PC. And it seems like it totally works. I mean, I don't have a software that has the uh, touch sensitivity. But if I did, it, it'd probably work and be more impressive. And the, uh, the DJ controller, I honestly don't know how to set up a DJ controller. I'm, I'm holding it upside down right now. But uh, it lights up and reacts to when I touch stuff, so that's pretty cool. Neat, huh? Maybe it works. I mean, it seems like it works oh and definitely the Ouija board works you know it's just some cardboard and plastic and becomes probably precursed by the Hasbro Corporation I was gonna make a, a VFX joke like it was haunted and it moved on its own but I'm so lazy guys 
it wasn't worth trying. 